two kinds of people who annoy you most in this world. Those who just gave up smoking, and those who just got separated. You really need to learn to have more compassion. And people who say that are the third kind. <laughs> Don't go, Sylvie, not yet. It's your own fault. You're the one who stops her from killing herself. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I would have thought six. No one brought it up. Uh, I yeah. my wallet so they can identify my body. Lauren, get out of here. We're all waiting. What's that smell? <laughs> Disinfectant. It's the cards. She <laughs> washed the cards. <laughs> <laughs> Name a Philip Marlowe movie starring Robert Mitchum. Farewell, my lovely. And good night to you, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> I guess no one feels like playing much tonight. Yeah, I kind of got to get up early for work anyways. Does your husband like you being a cop, Mickey? Well, all I ever wants to do is kinky things. Like what? Like uh, handcuffing me to the bed. Did you ever do it? Once but he fell asleep and I slipped a disc trying to get to the bathroom. <laughs> you ask me, you two are the lucky ones. I envy the both of you. Envy us? Why? Well, because you're single. You're free to live out your biggest fantasies. Is that how you feel, Vera? Mm -hmm. I'm not good at fantasies. Uh, Harry makes one up and gives it to me. <laughs> Trust me. This is the time to be single. I mean, men are a thousand times more good looking today. Why do you think that is? Well, because they're 11 years younger today. Let's go. <laughs> 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 believe it all. Actually, envy us. They think we're enjoying this. They don't know what it's like. I'd be immensely grateful to you, Florence, if you didn't clean up just now. It's just a few things. Can you believe they actually envy us? Lawrence, leave everything alone. I'm not through dirtying up for the night. You want me to leave him here all night? I don't care if you have them cleaned by your dentist. Just don't make me feel guilty about it. I'm not asking you to do it. That's why you make me feel guilty. You're always in my bathroom hanging up my towels. Whenever someone smokes, you follow them around with an ashtray. Last night, I found you washing the kitchen floor, shaking your head and moaning, footprints, footprints. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were mine, damn it. I have feet and they make prints. What do you want me to do? Climb across the cabinets? Why don't you go walk on the floors? Oh, can I? Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep the place livable. I don't mean to irritate you. Then don't wipe the telephone. Some of my favorite fingerprints are on that telephone. <laughs> How long what would take? Before I got on your nerves. I didn't say you got on my nerves. Then what did you say? You said I irritated you. You said you irritated me. I didn't say it. Then what did you say? I don't know what I said. What's the difference what I said? It doesn't make a difference. I was just repeating what I thought you said. Well, don't repeat what you thought I said. Repeat what I said. Oh my God, that's irritating. I'm sorry, Alda, forgive me. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't pout. If you want to fight, we'll fight, but don't pout. Fighting, I win. Pouting, you win. You're right. Everything you say about me is absolutely right. And don't give in so easily. Sometimes I'm not always right. Sometimes you're right. You're right. I always figure I'm in the wrong. Only this time you are wrong, I'm right. Leave me alone now. And don't pout. It's the same as sulking. I'm sorry, all of it. Why can't I move? I'm about to think. Right then. <laughs> 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 Why didn't you throw the cup? I almost threw it. I get so insane of myself sometimes. <laughs> You're angry. You felt like throwing the cup. Why don't you throw it? Because what's the point? I'd still be angry and I'd have a broken cup. How do you know how you feel? Maybe you'd feel wonderful. Why do you have to control every single thought in your head? Throw the damn cup.
Florence, getting a clear picture on Channel 2 is not my idea of <laughs> what, we, uh, what are you talking about? I've spent enough nights watching you put paper strips between your toes. The night was made for better things. Like what? Like, like the smell of a good cigar circling under my nose. Listen to me good, okay? There are two sexes in this world. We're one of them. Now, I didn't make this up, but nature demands that our sex has to get in touch with their sex. <laughs> you mean men? If you want to give it a name, all right. Men. That's funny, I, <laughs> I haven't thought about men in weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I failed to see the humor. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but he doesn't date anymore. Florence, we can't stay home alone every night like this. I intend to go out. I get lonely too, but I'm only separated a few weeks. I need time. What am I asking? I would just like to have dinner with a couple of nice guys. Who do I even call? The only single man I know is my hairdresser, and he's into other things. <laughs> Leave that to me. There are two brothers who live in this building. They're Spanish. They used to live in Spain. They're a million laughs. How do you know? Oh, I was trapped in the elevator with him last week. This will be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be perfect. What do they look like? Real gentlemen. They wore double-breasted suits. <laughs> double-breasted suits doesn't make you a gentleman. Uh -uh. These had cuffs on the pants. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you these are two classy Spanish guys, no taps on their shoes. Which one do I get? Take whoever you want. When they come in, point to the Spaniard of your choice. <laughs> I don't know what to say to them. Stop worrying. I was trapped in the elevator with them last week and didn't even understand a word they said. <laughs> they don't speak English? They speak perfect English every once in a while. <laughs> Just promise me one thing. What? Don't call one of them Sydney. Forget Sydney. It's Manolo and Jesus. Manolo and Jesus? You don't pronounce the J. Where's there a J in Manolo and Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> lining the streets waiting to see who we go out with. I'm talking about my friends, my family. What if my mother-in-law walks in and sees me drinking tequilas with Manolo and Jesus? Your mother-in-law <laughs> lives in the Florida. This would be the one night she comes to town. <laughs>
They're no good. See. Si. The candy's no good. See. Si. Very chewy. <laughs> Do you mean nougat? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, they certainly are beautiful. I'll put them in water. Just the flowers. Candy and water is no good. <laughs> I thought it was nougat. No, no, this time I meant no good. It was no good. <laughs> wow, well, they are beautiful. I feel like Miss America. I feel the same. I miss Spain. No, no, she needs to go. We'll talk later. <laughs> are you home to, Are you alone tonight? No. Where is she? Ah, uh, uh, Manolo, hey Zeus, I'd like you to meet my roommate and chef for the evening, Florence Unga. Mrs. How do you miss it? My pleasure is most extreme. I am Manolo Costazuela, and this is my dear brother, Jesus Costazuela. I am filled with much gratification to meet you. <laughs> Always a pleasure. <coughs> and I double the pleasure. <laughs> this is a charming surprise from for me, Miss Unger. Well, why do we sit down, boys? Gracias. Uh, do you like me in this chair? Oh, I'm no parking anywhere. Oh, we did. The car is outside. <laughs> <laughs> so you park yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Barcelona. Very, very good vitamins, 
is very, very good vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have very, very good vitamins in San Jose, but very, very bad vodka martinis in Barcelona. <laughs> 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 Shitty summer. Oh, I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is the most hot that I can remember. Last night, Jesus and I sleep with him nothing on. Is that right? The couple next door, they see us naked. We leave the door open for the breeze. They see us, they think we are. What is the word when two men love each other? Brothers. Uh, no, not brothers. <laughs> Happy people. Gay? See, gay! <laughs> yes, they think we are gay. <laughs> <laughs> we are not gay. Believe me, we are the opposite of gay. Uh, what is the opposite of gay? Not gay? See, we are not gay. <laughs> <laughs> not gay, that is possible. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. uh, because you live with Olivia, do people think you are gay? No, but why would you ask that? Because every Friday night you only have women to visit you. People say funny things. We well, used to play card, now we play Trivial Pursuit. What's wrong with that? That is a good point. Florence makes a good point. Why is it when men play poker and no one thinks that they're gay? That is another good point. Florence makes two good points. <laughs> In America, people are very suspicious of people who are not gay, uh, not, who are married. It's true. Jesus makes a good point. <laughs> no, Florence is leading two points to one. <laughs> I'm sure you guys would like to calm down first, wouldn't you, boys? Um, yes, please. Good. What would you like? I, I don't wish to put you to any trouble, but do you have perhaps a double vodka? Manolo, you promised me no more double vodka! You see, my brother's like my mother sometimes. <laughs> but he's right. I'm not good with liquor. I get very aggressive. Sometimes I attack people. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. Let the kid have a drink. Okay. And for Jesus? Jesus will have a very, 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 very dry martini. <laughs> I'll put a sponge in the glass. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, to get some refreshments, give you plenty of time to get away from <laughs> <laughs> so, you're brothers, are you? Ah, uh, yes, both of us. <laughs> How long have you lived in the United States of America? Uh, tres años. Uh, three years. Oh, so you're on holiday? Uh, no, no, we work here. Yes, I do. See, si, Iberia. You work in Siberia? No, no, Iberia, the Spanish airline. Oh, so you're pilot? Haha, <laughs> no, no, no. Sales and administration. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand. I really need to learn some Spanish. And today in New York, if you don't know what caballero means, you're afraid to go to the bathroom. <laughs> that is another good point. Ron makes three good points. Good job, fly. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that your name for sure? Um, oh, Flo! I'm so much sorry, Flo. That's all right, Nanny. <laughs> oh, it's short, Mama no. Very good. Yes, Jesus? Not Jesus. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Alan! You need some help in there? I'm, I'm, I'm just having a little trouble with the ice cubes. So, Flo, what occupation are you? I'm separated. From your job? No, but I used to work, but then I stopped my job. Oh, forgive me, I did not understand. Do you have any children? Uh, yes, uh, three. No, two. I was counting my husband. <laughs> <laughs> but now that I'm separated, I'm going to start looking for a job again. You see, that is where Spain is very different than America. They think it is the man who should steal the cake. Steal the cake? The cake stealer! Breadwinner? Ah, see, the breadwinner. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus and I are very up to date, very, very fashionable. Hello, Jesus. Manolo and I are very up to date and very fashionable. <laughs> that is why we divorce our wives and come to this wonderful country to start over. We love Spain, but it was time to say adios. Oh, how sad. Are there any children over there? See, millions of children, plenty of children. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, no, we are honorable men. If we had children, we would have stayed with our wives and family and been miserable forever. <laughs> so sad, isn't it, when you lose a spouse? Ah, yes. What is a spouse? <laughs> a spouse. My husband is a spouse. Did you 
know it was a spouse before you married. <laughs> <laughs> the person who you were married to is your spouse. Your wife was your spouse. I don't think so. We didn't keep secrets from each other. <laughs> <laughs> the person you're marrying becomes your spouse. Oh, ya yo marido. Your your husband, see? See, gracias. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, you are unhappy to be separated from your spouse. Is that a good guy? Wrenching. Yeah, it's wrenching. Wrenching of it, tearing apart. Oh, your husband tore you apart. Why tore us apart? Problems tore us apart. I'm still not over it. You understand? See. It's no good. No good. It's no good. <laughs> <laughs> but in time it will be better. In Spain we have the expression, the house is not built until smoke comes from the chimney. You understand? No. <laughs> Maybe this will explain. Uh, the bull does not cry till his horns touch the sky. Yes? <laughs> the ship is not lost when the sailor is found. The dog drinks water. <laughs> 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 this is the worst part of breaking up. <laughs> ah, you, you are childhood sweethearts. No, that's my little boy and girl. Preciosos, <laughs> ah, such pretty children. Preciosos, no, Jesus? Uh, muy preciosos. Uh, the little girl looks just like you. That's the little boy. <laughs> ah, they live with their father. Uh, no, they're away on summer camp. Uh, Sonny's a wonderful father. He's always strict with him, but always fair. One time, he, uh, what am I saying? You don't want to hear any of this. But of course we do, Flo. It is important to get everything up. We got it up. You get it up too, Flo. <laughs> <laughs> ah, very distinguished. Distinguished, no, Jesus? Oh, yeah. very distinguished. Uh, he is a cowboy? <laughs> <laughs> and the hair is so so thick and black. Uh, is he Spanish? No, but I think the hair is. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? Uh, there is no one in this picture. And I know, that's my living room. <laughs> He's very beautiful. The, the lamps are very beautiful. A free bottle lamp in Italy. Very rare lamps. I love my apartment so much, I never wanted to leave. Everybody laughing, everybody talking.